Hi, I'm Jen, and today I'm gonna to share with you guys some really simple head and neck and shoulder stretches and movements that can help reduce headache tension, as well as just that tight, sore feeling in your upper back and shoulders. You know, a lot of us spend time sitting at the computer, driving in our car, or texting on our phones, it builds a lot of tension in the head and neck. So this video is gonna help relieve that tension for you guys. So leave me a comment below and favorite this video. It's going to make it a lot easier to come back and follow along with me later. And we'll get ready to get started. So you can practice this technique of seated, sitting down. <laughs> you can be sitting in a chair or you can be sitting on a floor, anywhere that feels comfortable for you. So once you find a nice comfortable seat, we'll begin by lowering your right ear to your right shoulder and just feel that little stretch sensation along the left side of your neck. And we'll gently switch sides, lowering your left ear to your left shoulder and feel the stretch sensation along the right side of your neck. So it might feel a little bit different. I'm just stretching. And again, let's move to the right side. And we switch back to the left. So now let's just alternate this movement. Just moving side to side at a nice steady pace. So you don't need to go too fast, but we're just incorporating that movement to help loosen up any tension in between the vertebrae and any tightness in the muscles can get really stiff and sore. So this should feel pretty good to start to move and loosen it up. And then this time, lower your ear to the right shoulder and we'll just sustain this hold one more time. Take some deep breaths as you deepen into the stretch. And lower your head to the other side for one final stretch along the right side of your neck. Take another nice deep breath here. And then slowly come all the way back up to center. Now you can lower your chin towards your chest and you'll start to feel a gentle stretching sensation along the back of your neck or maybe even down between your shoulder blades, just depending on where you are the most tight. Wherever the tension is, that's where you're gonna feel the stretch. So you can even close your eyes here and just feel into your body and let the back of your neck begin to relax. Then again, we're going to incorporate some movement, slowly rolling your chin towards the right. And then back through center, roll your chin all the way over to the left. And we'll do this again, just alternating sides, switching back and forth from right to left. And you can determine what's the pace that works best for you to find that rhythm that feels the best for your body. And just notice whatever sensations are occurring in your neck and shoulders. And continue taking some deep, steady breaths to help you relax and soften and release. this last time as you roll your chin towards the right side sweep your left hand across to your right knee just give yourself a little twist keep turning your chin towards your right shoulder and 
will slowly come back to center. Roll your chin through center and all the way over to the left side. Once you reach the edge of your stretch, reach your right hand across to your left knee. Give yourself a little twist, still turning your chin down towards your left shoulder. You should feel a nice deep stretch along the back side of your right neck. <laughs> your right neck as opposed to your left neck. You get it? <laughs> Let's gently return to center. Let your chin come all the way down the middle. Feel that stretch along the back of your neck one more time. And we'll gently roll your head right back up on top, coming back to center. Nice. You can just gently roll your head around, loosening it up. Ooh. So by now you should already be feeling that your neck feels a lot more relaxed and a lot more loose. So let's start to work into our shoulders as well. So just start by rolling your shoulders up and back. Really open your chest when your shoulders move back. So you really stretch your chest and heart open, okay? Making big circles. You can find your own rhythm, All right? Whatever pace works for your body is perfect. We just really wanna get that movement going, okay? Open your chest as you roll your shoulders back. And then we'll reverse our circles. So we'll come the other way, rolling your shoulders forward. All right, so you're gonna to start to feel the tops of your shoulders, those trap muscles, really doing a lot of work. So you might think that's counterintuitive, like, I'm trying to relax, I'm trying to stretch. Why would I make the muscles do work? But by creating this action, you're starting to loosen up these muscles by getting that movement in there, okay? So now bring your fingers to touch your shoulders. And I know for some people your shoulders are really tight. So you can just bring your fingers to rest above your shoulders, okay? So this is the action. Then from here, roll your elbows. So I'm starting going back and forward. So really get your elbows as high as you can. And remember, it's the movement that is creating the openness, right? <laughs> So you should feel your upper back getting warm and toned. You might feel your biceps or triceps in your arms. And as you're ready, let's reverse and do your big circles in the other direction. And this is also helping to build some muscular strength. So when we sit at our desks and we hunch forward and round forward over our computers, it builds a lot of tension in your chest and stretches out the muscles in your back and makes them weak and tired. So this is helping to build some of that strength back up. And last time, and just let your hands relax back down to your sides. So you feel that warm, tingly sensation across the tops of your shoulders and the top of your back. Let's just stretch it out a little more. So interlace your hands at the base of your spine and if you're sitting in a chair, you wanna scoot forward towards the edge of your seat. With your hands clasped behind your back, squeeze your palms together nice and tight. And then stretch your fists away from your hips and start to peel your chest open. You might even lift your gaze as you stretch your chest wide open able to detect a little stretch sensation across the front of your sternum and across the front of your collarbones. And slowly return to center. Release your hands and grasp your fingers in front. Turn your palms forward in front of you 
And then scoop your belly button in as you tuck your chin to your chest and really press your hands forward like you could reach through the screen and touch my hands. Really, really reach. And then inhale as you sit all the way up and press your palms to the ceiling. So you're gonna bring your arms with you, lift all the way up, grow tall through your waist, press the ceiling away, take another big breath. Then as you exhale, slowly release your hands and let them float down by your sides, nice and easy. And we'll repeat this cycle again. So interlace your hands at the back of your back. Squeeze your palms together really tight. Then lift your fists up away from your hips. You'll start to feel your shoulder blades squeezing closer together. Then you can start to lift your chest up, opening through your heart. See if you can stretch your chest Stretch your sternum and your collarbones. You can even lift your chin and stretch the front of your neck. And gently release. And clasp your hands in front. Turn your palms forward and press as you scoop your belly in, round your spine, and tuck your chin toward your chest. Really, really press forward as far as you can with your hands. And on your next inhale, sit all the way up, lifting your arms up above your head. Press the sky away, lifting nice and tall, reach up. And on your next exhale, slowly let your hands float down to your sides like a little feather floating down to the sky. So we're gonna do this one more time. Are you ready? Interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze your hands together nice and tight. Stretch your fists away from your hips and start to peel your chest open. Lift through your heart, lift through your gaze. Keep stretching your hands away from your hips so you get that nice, deep stretch in your shoulders. Lift through your chest, stretch your collarbones. And slowly come back to center. Change your grip. Press your palms forward as you scoop your belly in round your spine, tuck your chin, and press your hands as far forward as you can, stretching your spine. Then let's inhale all the way up. Growing tall, lifting up out of your waist. Scoop your belly in so you feel your abdominals are toned as you lift and grow tall. Press the ceiling away. And as you exhale, slowly let your hands float like they're floating on two bubbles, soft and gentle, floating all the way down into your lap. Take a deep breath. Feel the tingling sensations through your shoulders, through your upper back. Nice work. So we're gonna end this video with a little bit of self-massage. This is something that I like to do for myself all the time, you know, Everybody gets tight shoulders and neck, and you can't always have somebody to massage you, but you can definitely do a little work for yourself. So just start by reaching up and taking your right hand to your right shoulder, 
You can just start to do some kneading. So you're just squeezing your hand like so and just kneading across the top of your traps. And the great thing about self-massage is that you can determine how much pressure is enough. So you can get that deep tissue feeling if that feels good for you. You can use a little less pressure if your body is sensitive. So here I'm just working up from the top of my shoulder right to the base of my neck, all along this line of tissue, just kneading and massaging. Feels really nice. And if you have some tension along the front of your neck, you can use your thumb and get in there and start using your thumb to apply some pressure at the front of your trap muscles. Yeah. There's also lots of different small muscles right here in the tops of your shoulders that help lift your shoulders up and down. And then let's start to massage the other side. Okay, so you bring your left hand up and start to just gently knead across the top of your shoulders there. Hmm. It's a little bittersweet. You get to massage your shoulders, but you have to work your hands. It's <laughs> one of the drawbacks of doing massage to yourself, but it's better than nothing. And you know exactly what feels good, so you can massage yourself in a way that feels the best for your muscles. And if you want to use your thumb in there, you can get your thumb towards the front line here and just start Applying that gentle pressure along the front of your shoulders can feel pretty nice. You might get a lot of sensation in there if it's pretty tight. I'm even kind of working up into my neck a little bit. Wherever you find those tight spots are, you can pause and hold. You can even turn your head and move your chin around. That can help add to the stretching sensation and help release even more tension. Okay, and here I'm gonna use both hands and I'm focusing my pressure on my finger pads here. So I'm gonna reach towards the backs of my shoulders and I'm using my finger pads to pull forward. And this way I'm getting into and that space between my shoulder blades, right there at the backs of my muscles. So I'm using my finger pads. And this is definitely able to get a sufficient amount of pressure to work into some of those trigger points, those tight knots of sensation, so you can work into those places. And just remember, whenever you find a spot, like a little hot spot, you can spend a little extra time there. Hold it a little bit longer. Take a deep breath to release that tension. All right, and then after you've given yourself a nice little shoulder massage, you can shake out your hands. I know, it's like you can make your hands and forearms tired. So we'll just do one little stretch for your hands. Flex your palm forward with your finger pads pointing down. And using your opposite hand, pull back on your fingertips. It's gonna stretch your forearms and wrists. So all of my computer nerds out there that are spending all your time on the computer, help really loosen up tension across your forearms and wrists. I know it can get really tight. So I'm kind of a computer nerd myself. <laughs> stretch it out and stretch your hands open too. It's really good for you. And switch sides, stretching open the other hand, the other forearm. Really pull back on those fingertips. That's what's going to give you that deep stretch across the palm of your hand and into your forearms. So just really stretching those fingers back. Breathe into the sensation, let it open. And then gently release. 
And we'll shake your hands out one more time. Oh yeah, feels so good. And you shake your shoulders and shake your head a little bit. All right, doesn't that feel better? It doesn't take very long. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to really just loosen up your body, get some movement in there, improve your circulation and help you feel better. That's the most important part. So if you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend. Leave your comments below because it's always great to hear your feedback. And subscribe to the Yoga TX channel so that you can get access to all kinds of stretch videos that's gonna help your body feel awesome and strong and healthy. All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Gentle with your body. Don't worry if you can't go as far as me or if you can't go as far on the second side. Just honor your body with right where you are. There's no pressure. There's nobody here to judge you. Just feel into your body. That's the most important thing you can do today. We'll come back to center. And again, let's just fold over your legs. So straighten through your knees as much.